من عمل صالحا من ذکر نہ انسا وہ مومن فلا نہ حیات طیبہ ہو سو ایور ڈز گڈ ڈیڈس ویدر بی اے میل اور اے فی میل من ذکر نہ انسا وہ مومن بٹ ہی اور شی شوڈ بی اے بلیور دیٹ از گڈ ڈیڈس ود آؤٹ ایمان میننگ لیس گڈ ڈیڈس ود ایمان وہ مومن من عامل صالح من ذکر نہ انسا وہ مومن فلا نہ نہ حیات طیبہ وی شیل ڈیفینیٹلی گو دیم اے گڈلی لائف ان دس ورلڈ آلسو ان دی ہیئر آفٹر وی ول گیو دیم وٹ وی ول گیو دیم بٹ ہیئر آلسو ان دس ورلڈ دے ول بی کنٹینٹیڈ دے ول ہیو پیس آف مائنڈ دے پیس ان دیئر ہارٹ دے ول بی پلیز ود اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی سو ایکچولی دس از دی بیسٹ لائف دیٹ اے ہیومن بینگ کین بی گیون سیٹنڈ This is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever we have to recite Quran, first of all, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem, then bismillahir rahmanir rahim, and then go on. فَإِذَا قَرَاتَ الْقُرَانَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْتَانِ الرَّجِيمِ إِنَّهُ لَيْسَ لَهُ سُلْطَانٌ عَلَى الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا He, that is Satan, has no authority over those people who believe. وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ And who have put their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. people who believe in allah and they have put all their trust in him satan satan cannot deceive them satan cannot lead them astray satan has no authority over them innama sultanuhu ala alladhina yatawallunahu his authority is over those people who become friends of satan themselves befriend him He be, they become their, their, his friends. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِهِ مُشْرِكُونَ And those who take to assigning partners and equals to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Over them, Satan has the authority. He will take them anywhere he likes. But the person who has real iman and the person who has all the trust in his Lord, in his Rabb, in his Allah, well, Satan cannot do any harm to him. وَإِذَا بَدَّلْنَا آيَةً مَكَانَ آيَةً And when we substitute one ayah in place of another ayah. You know, this substitution of ayat is in two ways. There was some commandment of Allah in the Mosaic law, law of Moses. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has changed it. The rules and regulations for fasting in that former sharia were different. The rules of fasting in this sharia are different. Now, because they actually, they themselves left Friday and adopted Sabbath, Saturday as the sacred day, it was allotted to them. Okay, go. But for us, it is Juma. So there is a substitution of commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then also, in the lifetime of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, commands were changed. For example, at one time, it was imperative that every person who is leaving behind some wealth must make some will for the parents, for the relatives, for the poor. It was imperative. It was farz. Kutiba alaykum iza hazara ahadakum ul mawtu in taraka khairan il wasiyyatu lil walidayni wal akrameen. It was nothing. But when the law of inheritance came in Surah An-Nisa, well, this thing was removed. Now it is not necessary. The inheritance will be divided according to the law of Sharia. So in this way, the, these commandments have been changing. But you know, these people, they were objecting to it. When we change an ayah and substitute another ayah in its place, and Allah very well knows what he is sending down. They say, oh Muhammad, you are fabricating things from your own mind. 
انما انت مفتر بل اکثر ہم لا عالمون وائل دی ریئلٹی از دیٹ موسٹ آف دیم ڈونٹ نو دے ڈونٹ ہیو دی نالج قل نزله روح القدس من ربك tell them this quran has been sent down on my heart through ruh al quds the holy ghost the holy ghost of the christian dogma they call jibril holy ghost and they have included him in the trinity god the father god the son and the holy ghost originally the trinity wa- trinity was god the father god the mother god the son mary was included as a deity in the trinity originally but later on they changed it but this ruhul quds jibril alaihi salatu wasalam he has sent down nazalahu ruhul quds mir rabbika from your lord bil haq with truth li yusabbit alladhina amanu so that he confirms and strengthens those who believe wa hudan wa bushra lil muslimin and a guidance and a good tiding for those who submit themselves to the will of allah وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُمْ يَقُولُونَ إِنَّمَا يُعَلِّمُهُ بَشَرْ And we very well know, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, that these people are saying that actually a human being is teaching him. They used to say that there is some slave from some Syria, etc. Whether he is a Jew or a Christian, but he is a knowledgeable person. He knows the old scriptures. And he dictates something to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then Muhammad comes and says, "This is the revelation which has come to me today." This was what they said. Well, akad naalamu anhu yakulu na inna hawa yuhalle mahu bashar. We very well know that they say that actually a human being is teaching Muhammad all these things. The sanul ladi yulhidu na ilaihe ajamiyun wa haza al sanul arabiyun mubi. the tongue and language of the person to whom they are the alluring alluding that is foreign language not arabic language if he is a jew from syria or if he is a christian arabic is not his tongue wa haza lisanun arabiyun mubin while this quran is in the language of arabic which is very plain very clear 100% correct innal ladina la yu'minuna bi ayatillah la yahdihim لا يهديهم الله ولهم عذاب اليم ويرلي دوز پیپل ہو ڈو ناٹ بلیو ان دی آیات اف اللہ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو لیڈ دیم ٹو دی رائٹ پاتھ اینڈ فار دیم از ا ویری پین فل چسٹائسمنٹ انما یفتر الکذب الذین لا یؤمنون بی آیات اللہ ایول اینڈ رونگ فیبریکیشنز ار ڈن بائی دوز پیپل ہو ڈو ناٹ بلیو ان دی آیات اف اللہ و اولائک هم الکاذبون ایکچولی دے ار دی لایرز دے ار دی ونز ہو ٹیل لائز من كفر بالله من بعد ايمانه الا من اكره وقلبه مطمئن بالايمان ولكن من شرح بالكفر صدرا فعليهم غضب من الله ولهم عذاب اليم هو سو ايفر افتر اكسبتنج ايمان بيكمينج ا مومن اند ذن هي ترنز تو كفر ويتش وي كول ارتداد اف هي بيكمز ا مرتد ذن فور هيم يو نو ذير از دي ريت اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى and a very big testament except the one who has been forced to do it and only to save his life he says something which is which denotes kufr but in his own heart and chest he is steadfast on iman so this is actually a concession that allah gives to people who are weak there are strong people who can give their lives and they are not ready to say even at all one word of kufr from their tongue but there can be some weak people only to save their life they can say something which the others may say, think that he has become a kafir now but he is in his heart in his chest he is steadfast on iman so he is an exception but whosoever chooses it and whosoever is contented with kufr now then for him there is the wrath of allah subhanahu wa taala and a very big chastisement zalika bi annahum istahabu al hayat al dunya ala al akhira and this is because they loved the life of this world more than the life of the hereafter wa anna allah la yahdi al qaum al kafirin and verily allah subhanahu wa taala doesn't lead to the right path those people who are ungrateful when allah subhanahu wa taala has given you the guidance you should be thankful to him and you should be ready to risk your lives 
for that truth, for that haq that has come to you, that has dawned upon you. Because this life is going to end. If not today, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, day after. Why to save your life, you say something which is kufr, which amounts to becoming a kafir after becoming a mu'min. So the thing should be that one should be ready to lay down his life. But for the weaker people, there is a concession. If they, save, if they can save their lives by uttering some sentences by which the enemies would be satisfied that, okay, now leave him. He has become a kafir. Then it is allowed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not bring him to book. Those people who love the life of this world more than the life of hereafter, they are the people on, who, on whose hearts Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a seal. Not only on their hearts, but also on their sights, on their hearing. And verily, they are the people who are unawares of the real facts. And there can be no doubt that in the akhirah, in the hereafter, they are the losers. They are doomed. There will be nothing for them. Then your Lord is in favor of those and He is merciful to those who made hijrah, who migrated from Makkah to Madina. After that, they were persecuted and tortured. And after coming over to Madina, then they made jihad for the cause of Allah and they persevered in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Rabba ka bin ba'deha la ghafuru rahim after this attitude of theirs your Lord is definitely for them forgiving and merciful barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al-azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakim